Hey guys, welcome back to Unavowed, and when we last left off, there was actually a bug I was trying to fix because it wouldn't let me back into the poetry club, and I actually uh, posted on Twitter about it, and Dave Gilbert himself actually got involved, which like, bless his heart, because I didn't even tag him in it, he just like found the tweet himself. But, um, and he's like, oh yeah, I looked at the code, and he looked at all this other stuff, and couldn't figure out what the problem was, and then he's like, oh, I figured it out because I watched your video, and actually that's from Mandana, like it was left over I guess for what I was playing as Mandana, um, like you couldn't go in when you were playing as Mandana up on the ledge, and I guess it just got stuck that way, and he was like, this game has been out for two years and you're the first person to run into that, so congratulations, and I was like, cool, thanks, um, so basically I had to replay this whole mission over again up to this point um, because uh, I had saved and I couldn't like get Mandana back up there to reverse it because she's kind of, you know, indisposed right now. Um, so yep, I fixed that so it's all good. I'm really glad that it was not like, like there was a solution and that it didn't just totally put a halt in the game. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to go back in here for a minute because I think there's a situation going on in here too. You don't understand, I almost had it perfect! You almost had yourself dead, you idiot. What's going on here? Oh, it's you. You probably shouldn't be in here. I think this place is going to be closed for the foreseeable future. Closed? No. No, you can't do that! Chipman's finally lost it. I should have seen it. You know a guy for years, you should know when something's wrong. Nothing was wrong, everything was so right! You cut open your Jesus wrist Christ. and you were bleeding into your mixing bowl. I needed to put more of myself into my work, it was the only way! I... I just don't have an answer to that, Clay. I don't. You think so? God, I hope you're right. He needs help. Help that I can't give him. So you're sending me to the mental ward? Only for 72 hours. That's what the law will let me do. I thought you were my friend! I am, Clay. I am. Look, you'd better go. This isn't gonna be pretty. Oh. Sorry, I think I messed with my volume there for a minute. Get him to let me go, please! I can't. Alright. So I'm going to go talk to Calliope, I can actually do that now. Right? Yes, okay. Girl, I need your help. Oh, it's you. Sorry if I don't get up, I'm a little... out of breath. Me? I'm fine. Just a little... winded, is all. By the oh, no. way, where's Mandana and the Fire Mage? Gonna... I thought you unavowed types worked in a team. Are you gonna die without your powers? <laughs> Whammied. I like that word. Wait, why did you summon a muse in the first place? I did not. He forced the creative energy on you? That's insane. You're lucky to be alive. You can't just force someone to create. You have to be ready. If not, you'll burn out. Your friends, where are they? I... Oh, that's right, I hadn't gone back and seen them. I do know where they are, but my character doesn't know. Then let's go and find them, shall we? Just going for a walk. Mr. Fire Mage! Hello? Mr. Fire Mage? I've never seen the Muse's power abused like this. Stanley Bates has no idea what he is doing. It's as you said. He's forced the creative energy into your minds. He is buried deep, struggling to connect with a deeper part of himself, one that he can express through art. So... Do I gotta be a therapist now? 
Kinda sorta, only this is more direct and harmful. The subject has to be willing. They have to be ready to confront whatever is inside. Your friends aren't. And unless we help them with that, they will die. Oh my god, I do have to be a therapist. No, that would be kind of bad. Like, brain explodey bad. I'm a bit useless here, but you're kind of not. You unavowed guys, you have a link, right? Something connecting you? You can use that. Try and connect to your friend. See if you can help. Um... Okay. A mind meld. I totally get that reference. And yeah, that's exactly it. Eli is in a heightened mental state at the moment. Connecting to his mind won't be hard if you focus. Just touch him on the head and, well, think about him. So, like, what's that term that they use in, um... What's the movie called? Why can't I remember it? It's about the giant robots. Pacific Rim. That's what it is. I gotta, like, drift with him. We gotta get in the Jaeger, Eli. Your friend is going to be vulnerable, scared, confused. So, be gentle. Good luck. Okay, let's do this. Is that your wife? Hello, ma'am. You can't hear her. Why should you? I can barely hear her myself. Soon I won't be able to hear her at all. I can't forget. I can't forget. If I forget that, I lose everything. Forget what I am. Forget that I'm human. My wife, Donna. You've seen her picture. It's in my lab. The picture helps, but it's not enough. It's old. It's grainy. It's black and white. It's been over 60 years. I'm forgetting. I don't remember the color of her eyes. Do I have to- is this like that- don't tell me I'm gonna have to do like that puzzle. I haven't finished Cognition. I've played Cognition and there's a puzzle where you have to guess the colors of a picture or something. I can't remember but it was frustrating and I don't want to do that again. I, I don't want to tell him to forget his wife. I don't. You don't have a family, do you? You wouldn't ask that if you did. Do you know what family does? It makes you better. It makes you want to do better. Everything I did, everything I was, I do because of them. Once I forget her eyes, then I forget her face, then I forget Gloria and Julie. Maybe one day I'll even forget Travis and Winnie and little Elijah. Then I'll forget myself. I'll forget I ever cared about anyone. And when there's nothing left, I become him. Yeah. No. You wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I'd never turn into Alden. I'd rather die first. If I can't remember her eyes, no. I should die. Why can't I remember? Uh, um... Yeah. You mean, her eyes don't matter? You're... you're right. The eyes are just the surface, aren't they? The eyes are the window to the soul, so it said. And that... that... I remember. Her light. So warm. So bright. All for me. So fierce. So protective. The way she'd gaze over our children. The connection she shared with them. Like a secret only they knew. One color... doesn't do it justice. Okay. Thought that would maybe go a bad route. Huh? What? What just happened? Hey! You did it! Did... what? That... I... It's everything. You could get lost in it. I... Sorry. My head, it's... I think I need to sit down. Okay. On to Mandana. your mom hi pirate mom i actually i did make a joke earlier in the game about her mom being dead which sounds kind of mean but here's the thing that i've talked about on tumblr before 
Like, there's so many games, like, specifically adventure games I've played, where the mom is not alive, and there's focus on the mom not being alive, and I'm like, why is this such a trend? Like, is it a weird, it's just a weird thing I've noticed, I don't know what it means, but, um, yeah, that's, that, I wanted to clarify that I wasn't making fun of her mom being dead, I was making fun of the trope. Okay. Madonna, both your parents are here. That's nice, even though they're not real. I am immortal, like a djinn. I abhor falsehood, like a djinn. I feel love, as humans do. I bleed, as humans do. Djinn and human. I discard one for the other, as it suits me, donning them like costumes. But which one is me? Do I follow my mother, or my father? I think that, yeah, why can't you follow both? Because you're like me. Like, I'm not a demon fully, and I'm not a human fully, and you're you. Like, you're just a combination, you're your own thing, and that's what's important. Because it gives me pain, torn between two worlds, the uncertainty of where I belong, it hurts. Oh, I have to make a choice? Um, I mean, I'm a human, and you feel emotions, you know, you're not a monster, you're not fully a spirit. Um, yeah, I guess you seem human. Yes, I seem human. I have thoughts and emotions that seem human. I have shared laughter with human friends, gained knowledge from human teachers shared hearts with human lovers. They all grow old. They all die. None of them understand. Even mother. I can never be one of them. Not entirely. There will always be... distance. Okay. Guess I choose both. I cannot stomach the presence of other jinn. So cold. So calculating. So proud of their wordplay. The other jinn children would tell riddles. I would escape into the forest to run and jump, alone. Father tried to understand. He tried to help, but he could not. How could he? It does not matter. <sighs> okay, well... Oi, girl. Oh, I could talk to her. I, I didn't get to talk to Eli's wife. Oops. Oops. A bit! Ah, sham that is. Time swallowed me. Got me beat like. Happens to us all like, if you don't be dog wild. Danger! Yeah, cheek. Take that back or I'll claim you. Ah, uh, Mandana's a solid she devil like her mom. She's just a bit banjax like. I love your accent. Acting the maggot you are. Don't be having a lash up with me. Me babby's getting beat like. Ain't doing a gatch, I'll tell you that for a sack of poppies. You think you're sham fiend? I got the young one to see the light. She's just lost her sea legs, like. Just needs a push. Distance? That's an awful thing to say, like. She'd not know the arse end of a blade if it weren't for me. Bye then. Hello, Kalash. Can I talk to Perhaps you? Perhaps you can talk some sense into my daughter? Good to see me. I'm not actually here. You know this. I'm not real. You're aware that you're not real. Interesting. A djinn is incapable of lying, ah. even in this place. I know who I am. I know what I am. It is time Mandana did the same. She merely needs to make a choice. I am sure she will make the right one. You mean you're sure I'll make the right one, because I'm sure I'm gonna have to make this decision? I am here to remind my daughter who she is. A djinn of the Old Kingdom, and a servant of the Unavowed, like her father. Help? No. This is a choice she must make on her own. She is torn between two worlds. I understand this. Her human side made her less prone to introspection, made her impatient, hot-headed. Her spiritual side enhanced her physical body, making her quicker, stronger. Together, it was a lethal combination. 
So it was up to me to channel her, hone her into a force for good instead of destruction. I did the best I could. What father could do more? I want to know how you two got together. That's what I want to know. Farewell. Father or mother, to which world do I belong? Yes, mother taught me how to fight, just like her. Although, if I am honest, I was huh. better than her. Not that I would show it in front of her crew. She would have gone mad as a box of frogs. Yes, father always told me such. Being part human, I cared too deeply. I needed direction. Father and the unavowed provided that. Yeah, you are something- I don't think caring is a problem. What's that thing from Parks and Rec? He's like, I've got a condition, it's called caring too much and it's incurable. Something new? Whatever do you mean? Yeah, she's got a point. Could it be? Without both sides, human and jinn, I would not be myself? Definitely. If I were not human, I would not care enough to join the fight. But if I were not jinn, I would not be strong enough to fight in the first place. Not in any way that matters. I am both, and yet neither. Something new. A new path entirely. Yes. Okay. Something new oh, from both worlds. Now. That's cute. What happened? Where is Stan Bates? He whammied you. Whammied? Doesn't matter. Are you okay? I feel good. Exhausted. But good. There you guys are. What the heck just happened? That is my question as well. Stan Bates hit you both with the creative force. It almost killed you. Thank you. See? Not such a long story. He used creative energy on a fire mage? I could have burned the whole block down! But it was worth it, oh, wouldn't no. you say? Go away. Do you see it now? Do you see what I can offer? This whole neighborhood. The whole world. But I didn't. They're more alive than ever. You and your friends, you just received a deep, clear understanding of your deepest selves. You're swinging the creative force around like a sledgehammer. You could have killed them. Nothing great is achieved without risk. Oh my god, my power's in the hands of a total idiot. Seriously, you all need to kill him. Kill him now before he kills someone else. Oh I god. beg your pardon? You heard me. I agree, he should be stopped. But killed? Is that really necessary? We do not have the resources to restrain a muse. Pragmatism is called for here. This is insanity! Don't I have a say in this? I've been given this tremendous gift, and you don't want it to be used. I don't understand. No, duh, you don't understand. That's the problem. If I used my gift improperly, then I'm sorry. I can learn. It's too late for that. So, how is this going to go? Yeah, Callie, can't you teach him? Like, I don't... Because <laughs> I know I killed that last dude. No, I didn't... No, the mission before that, I killed the, the fellow's guy. Um... No, I don't... <sighs> he did, he is being bad, but he's not... Like, he doesn't want to help people. No, I can't. Girl. You are not lying, are you? Nope. I'm not so old that I can't be taught. I'm not being cute. I really can't. Creative energy runs on instinct, emotion, feelings. Can't teach that. You must have learned somehow, didn't you? I was given the power at a young age. I grew up with it. You didn't. So, I'm sorry. It can't be done. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Callie, this power came from you, right? It's part of you. Yeah, so? So you should be able to pull it back into yourself, if you focus hard enough. You think if I wanted that, I wouldn't have done it already? Thanks, no, I'm happy the way I am. 
As am I. You can't give me such a gift and then take it away. I... This is exact this went exactly where I thought it was going to go. I hate being right with this game in particular because I don't like this. Until today, I didn't even know I had this power, let alone that I was killing people. Perhaps forcing it on you three was wrong. I'm sorry, I didn't know what I was doing. And how many are going to die before you figure it out? I I will try not to let that happen. Let me live, and I'll try. That I promise you. Yeah. Stan, we're trying to avoid killing you. Please work with us. The truth, Stan Bates. And no lies. I meant what I said. I will try not to let that happen again. Fucker. Um... Okay, so I guess I have three options here, which I don't remember any of the other missions having three options. So, one option, Callie takes her power back and is miserable. Two, we kill him, which doesn't feel right. And three, trust him, which he's, he wants to not... Is that gonna doom the other- like, is that gonna doom the kid? If I, um... Okay, I don't... And he wants the power, too. Like, they're both gonna be sad if I make- oh my god, I hate this. Um... Cause I left- you know what? I left that other lady with her power. We're like, we're gonna keep an eye on you. The other dude was just straight up evil, um, you know, cause that lady from the mi mission where we found Vicky, the Staten Island one, um, you know, uh, she- killing her didn't feel right. Killing fell- I'm not gonna lie, killing fellows kinda felt right, <laughs> um, so, am I gonna do the world? Like, I'm gonna- Kalash wouldn't like this. God, I freaking- I know, this is probably the longest it's ever taken me to make a decision. I need water. Sorry, I need water. Um... Okay. Mm. <sighs> okay. You know what, no matter what decision I make, nothing's gonna feel right, so let's just freaking do that. Trust. Yeah, we all deserve that. When I came into my power, I thought I was a monster. I was given a chance to prove otherwise. Maybe you deserve that chance too. Trust is one thing. Blind faith is another. You are a danger, Stan Bates. This much is certain. My friend chooses to trust you. Abuse that trust, and it will end badly for you. You're just going to stand back and leave him like this? I... You know what? I don't even care. I'm a mundane human now. This is none of my business. Good luck, Stan Bates. You're gonna need it. You wouldn't have been happy unless I killed him, so... Well... That was that. And even though all the missions are over, I'm sure it's not the last decision I'm gonna have to make. I'm not gonna lie, usually I like pay attention to how long these videos are. I do not know how long this has been, so I'm gonna leave it off here. Um, and I just wanna say that I apologize. Hopefully we're almost at the end. Like, I'm hoping to get this finished in the next week or so, um, with the next few videos. Um, but also, my uh, living situation, my work situation, I don't know how that's going to be, like, by next month. Um, things are kind of crazy right now in my life. So, I do hope to get this finished before I have to deal with all that. Um, and I'm glad I'm almost done with this, because October's coming up, and if I have the time, if my life's not crazy, I would like to play a spooky game for October. So, um, that should be fun. I haven't... I think I know what game I want to play, but I haven't made a commitment yet. 
Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that. Um, and in the next episode, we will hopefully see what the rest of this game has in store for us. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.